When you think about a growth mindset, how important is that to you personally? And do you get to cascade that out and live that down throughout the company as well? Yeah. Well, for me, it's, it's probably the most important thing to me. Business is going to go up and down. My career may continue. I'm, I'm reaching a stage in my life where the, the, my, the longest leg of my career is behind me, not in front of me. Yet, I haven't lost my drive. I haven't lost my aspiration to build and grow. And at this stage of my life, I'm as interested, if even more so than I've ever been, in continuing to be the best version of myself or even to recreate whatever the version of my, myself is. I've been a person who's been focused on reading, personal growth, and uh, I'm always looking for, well, let me say it this way. I understand myself well enough to know that periodically I need to add a new tool to my tool belt and a different perspective, how to, how to look at myself, how to, how to approach my desire to become more aware, more mindful. And so I, I've just, it's just, even if I were to retire in a year, which I don't think that's going to happen, I would never retire from my pursuit of personal growth. As far as cascading it, that I'm very transparent about it. I, people that know me have heard me speak over the years. People who have worked for me know that I'm a I'm passionate about growth. I'm a spiritual man, not necessarily a religious man. Not that I have anything against that, but I'm a, a spiritual man, and I don't have any problem sharing that openly with people. And mm. I'm probably better at, or at least I'm aspiring to be better at modeling it than I am necessarily to, to force it on people. And with mm. Job growth, you know, things you need to know to do your job better. Absolutely. But I have a belief you can't, you can't force people into spiritual growth unless they, you know, you know, as the saying says, right? Yeah. You can get in the water, but you can't make them drink. It's 